Hi, and welcome to the Future Car Show, the series where we look at the motors that will be driving you into the future. Today we're looking at the BMW i3, the first premium brand to have a go at the electric car. Now, as you can see from the bold styling, not much has changed between when it was a concept to the car that's delivered now, which is rare because most of the time, all the individuality gets beaten out of the car before it hits the road. Now, as well as that, there's been some really clever sort of ideas put into the building of the car. For example, it uses a carbon fiber reinforced plastic to make sure that everything is light, which of course, like these uh, thin wheels that you have down here and the aerodynamic rims that you have on it, make sure that you get the most amount of miles from the battery. Unlike some of the other cars we've tested, the i3 is built from the ground up to be an electric car, just like the Tesla. Um, whereas something like the Polo or the Zoe shares a chassis with another car, this one is all just electric. So it means that they can do things like this, which is remove the central pillar, uh, which gives you these great little suicide doors. They're not the most practical because as you can see, you don't get much space to kind of get in here, um, but you can pull the chair back to get through. It also means that the uh, transmission pillar, which would normally go through the middle and take up a lot of space, has gone. But they've also added a little extra beyond any other electric car we've tested. There's also a little petrol generator that connects to the battery. Now what that means is if you run out of range on the battery, so you get to sort of 80 to 100 miles and you want to go further, the generator will engage and provide the battery with electricity, which means you can get those extra journeys that other electric cars just wouldn't be able to manage. So on the inside, it's exactly as futuristic as you'd imagine when you see it from the outside. You've got the uh, ignition here, there's a start stop button. Um, drive and reverse are all controlled through this little sort of jo joystick up here. Um, there's just so much to talk about, but I'm just going to focus on a few little nice features quickly. Um, along the sides, you've got this sort of recycled plastic, which on the face of it sounds like, you know, sounds like they're just cutting costs and saving money, but it actually feels really nice, keeps it nice and cool and calm. There's also uh, this really nice digital dashboard, which provides all the information you need in a little sort of post box shaped um, rectangle. On here, you can see your range, which um, depending on how you drive is anywhere roughly between 80 to 100 miles on the battery. But then you can also see how many miles you'll get out of that petrol powered range extender um, and there's a really neat trick you can do uh, when you're normally driving along the i3 will manage the two power sources to give you the biggest range but if you're getting low on the battery and you just need to get that bit further you can go into the menu system and access the range extender and select a button which says hold state of charge which will mean that it'll stop the batteries from running down, but keep the power coming from that range extender. Right, so for the most part, this isn't like any other BMW. There's the trademark nose, of course, and the fin, um, but inside, this isn't got the kind of usual BMW layout that you see, um, which is why I think they've made the steering actually feel like one of their other cars. It's quite uh, firm um, as a kind of real driver would like it. Uh, and actually, when you want to pick up the pace, um, it's rapid and it's for a tall car quite good at handling. Of course, that height will mean there's a bit of roll, it doesn't, isn't as glued to the ground as other cars like uh, that they make. Um, but the most part, it's a really nice car to drive. The nose is really stubby, so when you're in tight parking situations, you can get it in. Um, you're quite high up, you can see everything around you. And as electric cars go, it's pretty much the best driving experience you can probably expect outside of a Tesla.
As you might be able to tell by now, I'm quite a fan of the i3. Uh, but it's not all positives. The suicide doors, which look great, can be a little inconvenient. You can't really shut one without closing the front door first. And it's actually quite a big car, but despite that, because of the range extender and the batteries, there's not as much room in the back as you think. And the boot is a little short on space. That said, that range extender makes this electric car a whole new proposition. It means that you're not just limited to 80 mile journeys and by you know, stopping off at petrol stations along the way, you can make those longer journeys if you need to. So this isn't just an electric car that car manufacturers can look to to model, but all cars can learn something from the i3. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also if there's anything else you want us to review do let us know in the comments. We do also have other videos out there so feel free to check those out on the channel.